Welcome, Reigns, and I'm back for another episode of the Random Thoughts of Rain podcast. This is the live edition. I think this is what? Uh, number five? The live edition that we've done? So I am truly, truly, truly grateful um, and honored that you all have tuned in. And I do, uh, I want to say, first of all, shouts out to MPN, another successful MPN network night, Mr. Al Pete. Boom, boom, bang, bang. Yeah. MJ Baker. <laughs> I was I was trying to give each of y'all your own moment. You know what I'm saying? I ain't want to just run it all together. Well, we appreciate you. <laughs> and once again, my name is Love Reigns, and I'm truly honored uh, to be a part of the NPN Network. So y'all make sure y'all follow and support the NPN Network. We are doing some big and major things. Make sure you tell a friend and tell another friend to tell their mom and them that this is where they need to be. You know what I'm saying? So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Um, I want to give a shout out to uh, some unofficial sponsors of the show. Shouts out to uh, Just Amanda. Just Amanda Bet. So y'all make sure y'all check her out for my shirt. I can. I will. Period. Period. Okay. Period. I can. I will. Period. End of story. That's it. So y'all make sure y'all support uh, Just Amanda. Um, and uh, yeah. I don't have Alcavita Water, but shouts out to Alcavita Water. You know, just did an amazing event there this past weekend. So shouts out to Creative Campus uh, for allowing me to host their amazing event at, at Alcavita. Um, and Random Thoughts of Rain is approaching episode 100. Woo! I did it. I did it. 100 episodes. I'm actually up to like 120 at this point. But right now, we are going to release episode 100 on April 13th, and I have a very special guest uh, on that day. I haven't quite decided what, you know, how we're going to celebrate. Maybe we'll get some, some cupcakes or something. I don't know. We're going to figure it out. But y'all make sure y'all stay tuned. Follow the hashtag Random Thoughts of Rain. Um, also doing a 100 Acts of Love campaign just to celebrate the, the 100th episode. So that means just, you know, any and every t every time you decide to to just do a random act of love for yourself or for anybody, just post about it and tag me. Hashtag R T O R acts of love. That's hashtag R T O R acts of love. Um, hashtag random thoughts of rain. Just to celebrate, you know, everything that love reigns. You see what I did there? Because we reign love around here. So tonight, I am truly honored. Uh, to be joined uh, virtually, right? I have an amazing guest. He actually was one of the uh, one of my uh, guests on the Random Thoughts of Rain, the audio edition, and um, he just released his first publication, uh, Journey to Love: Forty Love Letters or Forty Letters to Love. And I just I love I don't know about y'all, but I love when men talk about love. I really do. So he is very vulnerable in this in this book. Um, and he also has produced and directed um, some some videos to go along with his book. So the one, actually, I'm gonna read his I'm gonna read his bio just to make sure I don't miss nothing. Uh, so Booker Snow, A.K.A. East Paul Snow, East Paul Snow is the alter ego of the eclectic, multi hyphenate American entertainer Booker Snow. As a self-proclaimed voice for the voiceless, East Paul Snow's art encourages people to be more transparent courageous, and comfortable in sharing their thoughts regarding various emotions and experiences. Uh, his Motown roots has gifted him with a natural passion for entertainment from an early age. East Paul Snow's edgy storytelling and compelling subject matter exposes him as a transparent artist who can trigger a sincere, introspective response in his listeners. And that he does. So, the one and only... Mr. Booker Snow, a.k.a. East Paw Snow. What's up? I'm trying, I'm trying to, to figure, figure out who wrote that. <laughs> that's you. That's you. So I know who you are, and I know how amazing you are. Although we haven't met in person yet, we've met virtually, and we've had uh, some, some really great and uh, in-depth conversations. Um, but tell the people who you are and tell them, you know, why you're dope. Well, uh, my name is Booker Snow. I also go by Paul Snow. 
Um, I'm a rap artist, writer, uh, publicist, <laughs> um, screenplay writer, director, and all of this has happened in the last uh, two weeks. <laughs> You've been doing a lot. A lot yeah. can happen. <laughs> so, as yeah, so we, um, it's, it's crazy, crazy because we we, we, um, we were, were set to shoot a movie in April, April. Uh -huh. and, and we, we um, because it had it had more, more movie parts than we anticipated, so, so we decided, decided to hold to hold on that one. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, I, I I have I have a new script ready already. Wow. <laughs> so what but you're gonna but you're still the movie is still in the works right yeah, yeah yes yes we're gonna probably see it probably at the end of the year maybe okay yeah but, but this same next same one is going to be the next one will be a monster I'm, I'm excited because I was watching. I was watching the uh, the. So Booker has done um, some some visual accompany accompaniment to his book Journey to Love, which is his first publication. Uh, one of the films as a short film of one of his poems. Uh, one is called Letter Home, Letter to Home, right? Or Letter Twenty Four. Oh, yeah. Letter, Letter Twenty Four. Home. home. Yes, starring yeah. the one and only Miss Jessica Care Moore, right? So. Yeah. Let's 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 back up. Journey to Love. What this is a very vulnerable book, and you're talking. This is forty letters. Yes, yes. Shameless plug. <laughs> <laughs> so forty letters to love. Like, what was the inspiration? And you know, I really want to want to talk about what what gave you the the courage because it's not always easy. Right, we don't always make it easy for men, especially black men, to be vulnerable, right, and share emotions and feelings and being be transparent. So, what was the inspiration for Journey to Love? So, the, the idea, idea was to, to write, write a series of love letters, letters to, um, to to the young lady I was interested, interested in that school. <laughs> And, and it, it just never, never it never came, came to pass. pass. So, so I figured I would. Um, I wrote it, the first letter in the book was the letter I actually wrote to her and sent it to her, and, and she responded. Uh -huh. and, and so we ended up having a few conversations, and this thing I know we were dating for a while. <laughs> nice. So that, that letter must have been pretty powerful. What was her response? Uh, she, she simply said, "We need to talk." talk. And I literally put my phone down, down and was like, like, no, no, no we don't. <laughs> and, <what> we <laughs> and then uh, my sister, my sister taught me into making the phone call. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's awesome. That's yeah, awesome. I, was, I wasn't gonna call. What? But why? Why weren't you gonna call her? Or you thought you thought maybe she was gonna like clown you or something? No, no I, you, you know, know what? what? I'm um. Uh, I'm one, one of those. I, I, I love the idea of love. The love is a I get that. You, you know, know, it's it's not, not a um, it's, it's not, not something. There's, there's no guarantee that love is gonna be sugar and spice and everything and nice. Like right? love, love has ups, high lows, peaks, valleys. You know, know <laughs> it's, it's a lot that comes with, with it. It's not all just you know, uh, compliments and flowers and candy. Right. <laughs> That's true. That's true. So you know. Yeah. Fast forward to, you know, you actually deciding to put together a book and release it. Like, what was what was that process like? You know, you know what the crazy thing is? She, she's the one who told me. She told you to write a book? She, she told me, yeah, she said, these are great. You need to put this together in the book and, and release them. That's what's up. You, you know, know, and I, I, I thought, thought that was amazing. amazing. Yeah. For real, I mean, yeah, then I reached out to, uh, to encourage you to do that to, to, to a couple of my friends. I'm oh, sorry, Shay. No, no, I was saying for her to encourage you to do that, like that's that's dope. Yeah, uh, between her, I had a, I had a lot of people that uh, that are close to me who were in my case about putting something out. Um, and you know, my mom has always been been on my head about you know releasing some of my art. 
So I'm sorry if I'm looking, but I'm looking at, I'm trying to make sure I look at you. <laughs> so oh. I'm, looking, I'm looking all over the place. I'm looking all. So did she, um, when you released the book, the, the, the young lady that you wrote the first letter to, um, was she one of the first people that read it? No. no. Well, well, technically, technically yes, because, because they were letters that I actually wrote to her. Okay, okay. So, so like, like, every letter in there is a letter I wrote to her. Ah, nice. Yeah. 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 So what were her thoughts? I actually did thoughts? 60, you know, the 40 of the, of the 60 that I did. I did, I did, uh, I did one of them. That's what's up. So after, so when you, once you released it, and she actually read the book, and you told her that you released the book. What were what was her what was her thought? Oh, uh, she was so proud of me. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, the thing is, is that um, the, the relationship didn't work as far as the the, 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 the actual, actual dating, dating and everything else. Yeah. But, but you know, she's yeah. absolutely yeah. She's in full support. You know, know she. Make sure, sure I knew how to, you know, she can help me with practice interviews, like everything. Yeah. That's what's up. So when you decided to, to release the book and then do the visual, because I think, honestly, I love that you did, that you decided to do visuals to go along with some of the letters. Um, how did you choose which letters that you were going to, to do visuals to? I asked black women. I didn't, I didn't choose, choose any of them, actually. Um, I, was I was told which ones to do. And um, I had the vision for them once, they, once I was told which ones, but I, I try to listen to you guys as much as possible. Yeah. You know. Well, that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, it's hard to be like, you know, uh, you're talking about a journey to love, and then you don't listen to your counterparts. Right, that's true. <laughs> You know, it's, right, you just go, it doesn't based go on with, your, with your thoughts are. Uh -huh. I said, yeah, you can't just go based off of what what your thoughts and experiences are. Oh, it'd have been terrible. <laughs> it'd have been horrible. So we we talked right, and and one like I was really looking forward to one of the main reasons I was looking forward to this conversation is because we talked, and mm -hmm. I remember telling you like I just I love, I love being able to have truly in-depth conversations with black men and, and, and walking away feeling empowered, you know, because the unfortunate part is that's, that, that's not always my story, right, when it comes to my relationships with black men. Um, so to be able to have open and honest conversations with a, a black man about, and about being vulnerable Right. To me, I feel like that's something that we that we have to normalize. So I'm, I'm saying all that to say to ask this question. Why do you feel that it is it was important for you to not only is, you know, I know that it was a, a, a way of release for you. But why do you feel like it was important for you to release this book now? So I'm a, I'm a, I'm a spiritual, spiritual being having, having a human experience. experience. So, so everything, everything that happens with me is, is led spiritually. When I do anything opposite of what my spirit commands me to do, things don't go right. So for me, it's a thing of obedience. You know, time, time is something that is, is the most valuable commodity. You know, and it doesn't come back. With time, you tend, tend to hope wisdom comes with it. Mm -hmm. It's not, not always the case scenario, scenario but you hope that it comes with it. Right. I've, I've learned, learned that in wisdom, when, when God sends people to me and I'm advised to do something, and, and it's something that goes hand in hand with the mission I've been given, mm -hmm. do, do it. Yeah. You, you know, know it, it, it's, it's like your church says, I can, I will, in this story. If, if you're supposed, supposed to do it, do it, because, because you can. You're, you're supposed, supposed to. The will is already there. Right. Yeah. You know, whatever, whatever faith or, you know, know whatever people choose to study, there's, there's always something in there about being obedient, doing things in the time of that. Right. And when you don't, you're, you're going to throw things off of yourself. Right. 
And, and you're, you're not the only one that's hit by that. In, in my, my life, life, I have my dad, my pops, my mom, my sibling, my children. So when I don't make certain moves and I'm supposed to, it doesn't affect just me. It affects the whole crew. Yeah. So when it's time to do something, I do my best to do it. That's important. But it has to be within the mix. Like I was, I was told by a very wise man two years ago. He told me stick with the mission, and, and I've had too many, I've had too many, too many uh, times where I, I get confused about what's a part of the mission and what isn't because, because it's a great opportunity. opportunity. Or you like, I mean, I, you know, I know some, I know great people that are doing amazing, amazing things, and I want to do so much stuff with them because I want to. But that's not my mission. Right. And, and if, if I, I get over and all the notes, I only am I throwing my stuff off, but I'm also throwing off their stuff. And then cool. Right. So, so with, with the, the timing, timing it's about doing things, things and the timing fashion based on when it's given to you to do You listen to your heart or your spirit or whatever people choose to follow, like for me, it's my spirit. You know, and when I listen to it, it needs to work out. Yeah, for sure. We got we got some some messages. Somebody said, oh, my cousin, hey, Meek Meek. She said, love love hurts. We got some claps from my brother. Yep. <laughs> so you got some folks that's agreeing with you, for sure, for sure. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Um, now, I'm what I'm interested in, I'm curious about is, you know, once you, when you did release the book and you're talking about love, what were your, your, your male counterparts, what were their, their reactions to the book? They, they were so, so proud, proud of me. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that was so, so dope. dope. Yeah. Like, like I, I got, got I got dope, dope brothers around me that's, that's just proud of the, 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 what, what I do. Yeah. You, you know, know, like, like I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say his name. I don't even know if he's gonna hear it. So between, between my dudes, Kevin, Kevin Davis, uh, Derek Hardy, and, and Antonio Robbins. And, and my, my brother, Kwashim, he like, like, when, when I, I tell you I got a group of brothers around me that are just, they're, they're, they're phenomenal. Right. You, you know, know, and they, they, they urge you to do stuff like this. this. They, 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 they don't, don't want me to contain myself. myself. They, they get, get mad at me when I do. Right. You know, so, so yeah, yeah. the half of my brother's problem to me is dope. And I got people I don't even know. Like, you know, other brothers, that's just, they get the book and they... Inspired, inspired by it, you know. People, people actually send it to me. That they, they wrote for they wives, that they wives, they wives, 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 wives. You inspire a whole <laughs> movement. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> you keeping marriages together? <laughs> <laughs> they better not rely on me for that. <laughs> right, we'll say, we ain't gonna say, you know. What's, what's the dude, what was the man name? The, um, oh, uh, uh, Jackson. Him, Lord have mercy. <laughs> Don't even get me started on that, but yeah. <laughs> hey, everybody got their turn, man. That's That's right. That part. <laughs> that part. That part. That part. So you know, um, in the midst of a of a of a pandemic, right? Um, we've been able to, and we talked about this on on our first interview. You know, the pandemic it stopped a whole lot of stuff, right? It pushed back a lot of stuff. Um, and then there's a lot of people who, who really still have not recovered fully from it, right? So in the midst of a pandemic, you were able to not only complete your book, but also still release it and do create visual work to go along with it. What was the motivation for that? Like what kept you going and, and, and pushed you to keep going? My crew. I've been, I've been blessed, blessed with a solid family. family. My, 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 my village is amazing. Yeah. Um, getting in, like, like being, being in contact, contact with Jessica, Jessica was huge too. too. You, you know, know heck, that's how, that's why, that's how I got to you, really. Right. <laughs> yep. Shout out to know, Jessica so, more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like, her, her, her connect with that was like, like huge. Yeah. Um, with, with with several projects like. I either, I either do, I'm I'm direct, direct, I directed one of her videos, I've directed a video that she's featured in. Mm-hmm. She, she she starred my video, video which I directed, and then her nephew with her nephew, uh, lover, actually shot it. Wow. Level 24. 
So, so that's what I'm saying. saying. Like, it's, it's the people. Yeah, everybody else is doing my man Washim. Like, we have a, we, I have a dope family. And then my sister does all the music, and that's the music. And everybody's like, it's, like, it's, 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 my, my, it's my, my group. Right. Yeah. You, you know, know them just being, being fearless and bold enough to be willing to take COVID tests. You know. Right. Yeah. The family coming together all just making me. That's what's up. That's what's up. So let's talk about love, man. <sighs> love, um, when it comes to, um, you know, being vulnerable, being transparent. Um, why do you why do you think that we make it so hard for 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 black men, especially? to be vulnerable when it comes to love. Like why, why is that such a, um, a thing that's looked at as like a weakness or a sign of weakness if you're, if you're showing or exposing love? Um, I think it's what's up. I, I think it's a long, it's a, it's a generational curse almost that's been like placed in the back of our minds and just passed along. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm fortunate enough where I didn't have people to want me that, that, that didn't tell me that I couldn't cry mm-hmm. or that I couldn't feel. Uh, my, 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 uh, I grew up with drug dealers who wouldn't let me sell drugs. Wow. You know, they, they told, told me it wasn't in me. Mm-hmm. Um, I got kicked out of the out of, out of dope houses. You, you know, know, my friends who, you know, run shot. shot. Um, I just put them in the thugs that are, that, that are kicking me out the car. <laughs> <laughs> they say, this ain't going to belong here, man. Yeah, and, and what, what I'm getting at is this. That, that may not be a romantic form of love, but it's love for the less. Right. Because for some reason, we're placed in their hearts for them to love me enough to not put me in danger or have me in the same situation that they would walk me. Right. So, so that, that makes it easy for me to be able to speak how I speak because my life is just centered around love. Um, my, my mother has, has made huge sacrifices to give me opportunities and chances. chances. I'm, I'm 41 years old. old. She still is, is in my, my she's my, probably my biggest support. Yeah. You, you know, know um, I have you know, one, one of my cousins, cousins but, 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 but no, no rank, for no reason, just ordered 10 of my books and gave me his gifts. Wow. <laughs> that's what's up. You, you know, know, but that's love. Yeah. You know, and I, I, I hope that people meet someone in their life, so, so where that like a, that's someone that could become like a, their, their, their closest comrade yeah. and lover. Yeah, you, you know, because I mean that's that's literally what we kind of all look for. We look for somebody that can genuinely love us in a way that's original. Mm-hmm. You, you know, know, for us, it works, works for us. us. You, you know, know, and it doesn't just feel good, good but it's just consistent and steady. steady. We've, We've been, been taught, taught as black men, men to, to um, I, I know I have a lot of brothers who hold things in because, because they have to. They can't let certain things be seen. Mm-hmm. You, you know, know, it's not so much for weakness as much as it is for protection for themselves and for the people that they protect. Right. You know, now, now there are people who I've, I've seen, I've seen, seen kids get whoopings and they've been told to set up crying. They paint a whooping they behind. You know, I've, I've seen one of my boys get smashed up as a kid, and he got in my hand and his, his mama shut up front. Mm-hmm. You know, and she smacked it hard. Right. You, you know, know, those are, those, those, you know, that, that stuff, that's trauma that you grow up with, and unfortunately, that's the law. Right. And I think that's what kind of causes that. that. It's, it's deeper than that, of course. Yeah. But those are examples of, like, the things that the difference of somebody who's been brought up in a society or in a household where they've been, been told they couldn't feel compared to somebody like me who I, my, my whole village urged me to feel. Yeah. You, you know, so, so I, it, it's, it's such, such a huge difference in the things that me and have to hold in. They, they feel, feel like they really do have to. It's, it's not, not something, something that they're doing to hide something. They have to. They have to. They have to. Right. And the amount of time it really takes to, 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 to unprogram that stuff, it, 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 that takes a lifetime. You, you almost got to just kind of pass it on to the next generation. Right. 
So then what do you do, though, like, and when you encounter, you know, because we were, when we were talking before, you know, I was saying that I haven't had the best relationships with black men, you know, and it's very rare um, to have those, those solid and genuine connections with black men. So how, what happened, like, what do you do when you encounter, you know, like, I'm the kind of person that I, I overanalyze everything. So if I'm talking to someone and I, I, I hear their anger, it's like, I'm, I can see the trauma, right? Mm-hmm. And I know that what they're speaking, wherever they're speaking from, it's not towards me. It's not directed towards me. It's because right. of whatever past, whatever trauma, whatever it is that they're feeling. But then how do you, how do you combat that? You know, how do you, how do you approach that still with love when you get pushback? So, so the, the hard part, part with everything is that it's, it, it always starts with how you respond. Um, I, I can I can honestly say that I haven't been perfect with every with every sis that I've come in contact with, but it has always been a lesson. You know, I'm like you. I'm a, I'm over and a little. And I'm very hard on myself. And um, I look at things for a larger scale. It's not about just myself or the person across from me. It's about an array of people. And what effects that has in the next thing and the next thing. So, so I, I think, think it's important. I, and I think this is so dope about you. I use it as an example. You have an unusual amount of patience. And then it comes from a loving place. It's not because you're forcing yourself to. It's from a, little, it's from a loving place. So you're able to have enough patience to listen. And not listen to respond, but actually listen to take in. To, to see what it is that the person across from you actually needs, not so much you feel like they need. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And the, the amount of time that it actually takes to, to get a good response from a person, especially from, from you know, know brothers, you know, I, I, like I said, I haven't always been the coolest. You, you know, know, but I'm at, I, I, like, a, you know, here I am, I'm at 40 years old, I released this book. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, know it's 40 years. years. You, you know, know it's it stuff takes time. time. And, and my and I'm like I said, I'm blessed enough. I, my, my dad, dad that raised me, he still, still infuses things into. Mm-hmm. You, you know, know, my grandfather, grandfather still alive. Still, 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 still my uncles, like, like they, they all here. here. Yeah. You, you know, know, so, so my village, village it's, it's a little different. My us, you know, my cousins, my sisters, like they 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 give me and check about something. But it takes that unfortunate to have that village. It, it takes, takes women like you to, to stay engaged with brothers like us, though, to, to help us get smoothed out. It just takes a longer period of time because it's just you. And you actually are all one more. How was that? So I'm going to share a story with you. Yesterday, I was going into uh, Target. And normally, in these situations, black women don't listen to me. This is the deal. A, a car, car was backing out, out and, and she was walking on the other side of the of the of the aisle. Uh, the, uh, the car was backing out. out. I, I said, "Stop, stop walking, sister! Look out!" Mm-hmm. And she looked. She was on the phone. She looked up and saw the car and stopped walking. Wow! And she said, "Thank you." And then I was like, "Hold on!" They backed on out. The guy she waved and apologized and pulled off. And she walked over and was like, thank you, I appreciate you for doing that, you know, and I was like, oh, thank you for listening. Yeah. I'm actually not used to women listening. Yeah. You know, you she too far to, you know, run over and pull back. Yeah. Just listen. Yeah. So you know, and a lot of people say, oh, it's funny. They go over and over and they say, it's a good moment. And I'm telling you, it's really easy for me to know what I'm just Right. So why do you think that is when it comes to... To, to women? I mean, I mean it's, I don't, I don't think, think it's a secret that, that you, know, you know, you guys have been perfectly bad. bad. Mm-hmm. You, you know, know I, 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 the women, women that I'm surrounded by, by they, they, they have some of these stories. Yeah. You, you know, know and granted, there's their side and there's the other side as well, but I'm, I'm not at liberty to say who's lying and who's telling the truth because. When, when it comes, comes down, down to it, the, the impact of the effect is the impact of the effect. Right. You know, if, if I if I come to you the wrong way, 
it, it doesn't matter what my reason is. If if, you, if, you, if, I, if I come at you wrong, wrong and you and you feel that, that no, no matter, matter how you respond, you, you still felt something, right? right. And, and, it's, it's, and it was from it was from me, so, so it has an effect on you. So, so that causes you know it's a cause and effect. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and that, that lingers. And, and, and no, no matter, matter what, what, it tends to go over to the next person involved. Hurt people, people hurt people. people. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> that is, that's true. And it's, it's unfortunate sometimes. I mean, because I feel like, like I get from a, you know, from, from my, my viewpoint on the outside looking in, when I meet brothers like you, I always like, I just want the best for you you know what i'm saying and then it's like when you see when you see uh women who are responding negatively to someone just genuinely showing them love you know it to me that hurts because it's like it, they're not responding you know based off of you they're responding based off of past experience you know right. same with me i'm res i respond based off of uh past experience you know and i think we were when we were talking before i was telling you like I don't always feel comfortable in a room with black men by myself, you know, and, and it, it sucks, but that has been my experience, you know, and it's unfortunate that sometimes, you know, the, the good ones <laughs> are the ones who end up getting the shitty end of the stick <laughs> because it's like, you know, and so I have a lot, I have a lot of female friends who uh, that's their story, you know, and then they end up meeting a good guy and I'm like, oh man, this is the one. I know that's the one for you, but then they end up self-sabotaging because in their minds, oh, he, it's just a matter of time before he mess up too. But, but you know, know what, though? Sometimes, sometimes it takes those experiences, experiences, though, for, for the, the next, next journey, journey to take place. place. Mm -hmm. There's The, the, the thing, thing about, about Love, love is that, that it's a it's a heartbeat away, away from being insane, mm. in my opinion. You, you have, have to be crazy to keep giving your heart away. That's true. <laughs> you, know you know what I'm saying? saying? Yeah. Like something, something, something with you is a little, little, little on edge. edge. Right. You, you know, know, it's almost like you're a masochist. Yeah. You, you know, know, just a glutton or whatever. Right. But, but the, the thing, thing is, is, is that. that I don't, I don't think, think people should, should give up on it. Yeah. It's, it's just about it. It's, it's about, about recognizing when it's, you know, what's, what's yours and what isn't. Yeah. You know, and like, like my last, like, like my last relationship, relationship I, I don't regret, regret it. You know, you know but it, it, it wasn't the final part of the journey, journey. It's as far as with that specific area. area. Right. You know, when, when it comes, I. I don't, I, and, and, and personally, personally, I feel like, um, I feel, I feel like, like I left the, uh, I know there's there some good impressions and I know there's some bad impressions that were left, but, but for, for me personally, like, the good is way the bad. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's just, it's just the thing that I'm looking for and that I believe that the foundation needed to be on you yeah, know, so, so it's just a part of the morning. We're grateful for the, 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 the ending, you know, journey. Like, this, this is a not ending, ending thing. Yeah. You, you know, know, I believe that in, in love, love like, there's something, something else after all this. Right. You know, so leaving here, you know, know this ain't enough. Yeah. You, you know, know, everything that we do here does transcend into somewhere else. And in whatever things that I've Read about it's always something else. Whether you, you talk, talk about your God, God karma, or whatever, yeah. there's it's always a something else. Reincarnation, <laughs> <laughs> right? You know, it's, it's always a something. Else. Yeah. yeah. You know, so, so I, I feel, feel like you, it's all about the experiences, and you know, know don't hold on to the years or something that you know, know learn from, from it, keep moving. moving. Yeah, yeah. There's so much wisdom in what you just said. Like, you know, that's one of the things that I, I think, one of my my personal my personal journey as far as like healing and letting go of past trauma and letting go of, of past relationships is realizing that, you know, sometimes 
things just don't work out because they weren't meant to work out. It doesn't mean that you hate the other person. It doesn't mean that you have to walk away, you know, feeling bitter or angry or anything like that. It just, it ran its course, you know? Yes. And, and for whatever time that you had with that other person, that was your time. That was the time that y'all were meant to spend together, good, bad, or ugly. That was the time that you yes. all, you were meant to spend. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's not something that you. There's no point in holding on to that. Like why? Why hold on to it? Why? Why feel bitter? Why feel angry? Why look back and be mad? <laughs> you know. So, so let, let me, me ask, ask you a question. question. Mm -hmm. Have, Have you, you met, met somebody, somebody yet? yet? That, that you, you can't, can't define. define. I have. Recently, as a, well, I wouldn't say we just met. We've actually known each other for a while. But I can't. I, I really cannot define this person. But it's exciting. That, that was going to be my fault. Okay. Yeah. So, so here's the thing. thing. I, I personally feel, feel that when... when when, when you're, you're in love, love you, you almost lose the words to explain who that, that person is. is. Yeah. You, you don't, don't have, have a title for what they are. are. You, you can't, can't explain, explain what it is that they do. But, but it, it makes sense. sense. And it's, it's the, the best, best thing for you. And, and in turn, you, you become the best thing for them. them. Right. And, and you, you do it without intention. You don't, you don't do it because you have to. You do it because something in you is just telling you it's, just a, it's not only the right thing to do, but to just do it. Right. And as time goes, everybody had their own time frame as far as when they fall in love or something feels right. And I know it happens to us. My mom do. She fell in love with the new evidence. She, they, she might, he, he was titled husband, she was titled wife. But, but I'm, I'm telling you, it was something else there, and, and it, it didn't, didn't have a, it didn't have a title, it didn't, didn't have this long explanation to it. It was simplistic right. and organic. organic. And, and to see, see it, like, that's, that's something beautiful to watch. Yeah, it is. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, so to, 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 to connect, connect with somebody, somebody on a level, level, even if we're they, they look at you and go, I can't do this. And, and you, you would have the audacity to go, you know what? I understand. But, but if you, you change, change your mind, what's the other song go sing for me? <laughs> Put a <laughs> message in the Bible, baby. Yep. <laughs> sing for me. Yeah. You, you know, know what I'm saying? saying? Yeah. Yeah, and that's to me that's that too that's too genuine stuff. It's not it's not a it's not about the box of candy. It's not about the bag. It's not about the Xbox or PS. What is it? Five. I don't even know. It's, I think PS. I, I, I don't really play, play games yeah. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you know, it's not about any of that stuff. It, you'd be amazed how a date can be a walk. Nothing, Nothing even really said on the wall. Right. Just, 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 just being present and walking. You, you know, know like, like I, I think, think the word romance, romance is, is, is so finite. finite. Yeah. You know, it, I don't, I, I don't, I don't feel, feel like it's all roses and you know, romance, know, romance is, is, is how, how the quality time, time is spent. Yeah. You know, no, no matter. matter where it's from, it's, from. it's, it's the quality time, time spent. And, and um, I, I think, think when things are done without, without it being kind of like forced in, yeah. and it's, it's just natural and organic, organic like you, you can't, can't control, control that. You, you, you fall, fall in love with what you want. Right. And it doesn't you know, make sense. And when the person yeah. falls in love in return, shoot, that's, that's it. it. Right. <laughs> And it's something you know. very, it, it just, it, it doesn't make sense. And it's something that just, it just fits. 
you know, and you can't, you can't explain it, you know, and, and that is something that I am, I'm, I'm just, I'm opening myself up to, you know, and I can be honest and say that I, at, at a, why are you looking at me like that, MJ? At, <laughs> No, 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 look at her like that. Look at her just like that. At one point, honestly, you know, with, with my what my my last relationship broke me. I, I I can be completely honest in saying that it broke me. It really did. It broke my spirit um, because I thought that I was truly in love. You know, and why? Um, because you told you that. It, it that's what I thought I felt. Look, she's she's like <laughs> It was my I, it was a forced idea of what Here I we go. what I thought love was supposed to be. It was. There, there we go. go. And I I you know, I I was I was broken by it, you know, and after that and even MJ can attest, I was like, "Man, I'm not. Like I'm not doing this no more." You know, ho is life. That was my saying. <laughs> I just got, sorry, mom, but that was what I was going to do. I was like, listen, I'm not. I'm not because I got to a point. It was like, like we were talking when you said about love. You have to be crazy. You have to be insane to continue to put yourself out there. Not that you, not that I ever feel like I was ever perfect in any, any relationship. But it's like when you know that you came from a genuine place. And when that gets taken advantage of, or it's 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 just thrown away, that hurts. That cuts, you know. And you get to mm -hmm. a point where you're just like, I don't want to do this anymore. You know what I mean? That that is the definition of insanity. You keep doing the same thing over and over again, hoping to get a different result, and you keep getting the same result. And it's like, man, I don't want to do this no more. You know. So, whole is life. I was actually. I was this close to putting it on a shirt. <laughs> you know? But there was some healing that needed to happen, right? There was some there was some healing that needed to happen. And the thing about it is, like, there's no bitterness. There's no bitterness. There's no anger. I wish her well, you know? I still pray for her. I still want her to be successful. You know what I mean? Like, there's no anger. There's no bitterness. There's no any of that because what I've been And here's the reason why. Yeah. Because, because what you created is one thing. Because it was the disappointment of what you created that caused you to feel the way you felt. Yeah. But you still, still love her. Yeah. That's just love. love. Right. You, you know, know, it doesn't have to. It, 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 it doesn't have to have the boundaries in the box. You, you can love somebody, somebody from a from school. school. You know, you're, you're probably, probably doing, doing the best thing not only for yourself, but for them, by, by not being present at that capacity anymore. Yeah. You know, they, 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 they not yours. Right. You, you know, know that, that would be, be like, like, I'll tell you this right now. If, if you're you in love with somebody who's not, not in love with you, but because you're in love with them, they to be with you, you're going to get the worst of it. And who caught that? Because genuinely, they, they might, might look back, back but they don't want to be there. Mm -hmm. So, so you're not going to get the best. best. You're going to get the worst of it. And, and that's even worse. worse. Yeah. In my, my opinion. opinion. Yeah, you're right. MJ, it's a whole amen corner over here. I just want you, <laughs> <laughs> I just want you to know. <laughs> she, mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> She about to ask. She about to pass offering in a minute. Okay. <laughs> She's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> but you're right. You're you you're, you're absolutely right. And I, and that's honestly that's really why I wanted to, you know, I feel like your book is so important because you when you I really feel like there's power in vulnerability. There's so much power in vulnerability. And when you're talking about love, because love can be such an insane thing. When you choose to um, to be transparent with love and be vulnerable and share your experiences and, and be open and honest about love, um, I, th I feel like that opens you up to 
those opportunities to meet someone who is who you cannot define yes, yes. you know because had you not experienced the things that you've experienced you might still be in that trauma state where you might be in that place where you you're not even able to receive it you know yeah, yeah. but once you actually you know recognize the power and the vulnerability and the healing you know then it opens you up to the things that you're that you're meant to experience you know the other things that you're meant to experience the, the funny, funny thing, thing is it's like, like love, love is a give take, take. Yeah. it's, it's not, not always balanced, balanced but it's a give take, take. Yeah, I, I don't i don't believe in a fair love, love. Mm -hmm. um sometimes, sometimes your, your counterpart, counterpart wins sometimes you win <laughs> you know yeah. but, but the thing is it's, it's always a give take, take. And, and it has to be about what you're willing to give and also what you're willing to take. Yeah. There are some people who can who can take a lot more than others. I, mean, I, I don't understand how they do it, but they do. And they can tell you honestly that they're in love with a certain type of person that might talk to them a certain way, treat them as their business. You know, um, there are some people who enjoy whatever they're getting from somebody who may not be as smooth as somebody else, you know, whatever. There, there, are, there are men out there who like to be controlled. You know, they would love to have a woman come in to tell them what to do. And, you know, memes in, in social media tell you that these men are weak and stupid and whatever else. And the thing is, they make them. That's how they love. They, they back down to their partner in a loving way. I mean, they punk. Right. They, they, they might need direction. direction. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I know, I know, I know women that, that haven't had a job since they've they been with their spouse, spouse. and, and they, they cool with it. They, they don't, don't feel, feel like they're like less than who they are. Right. But, but the, the women who stick with the situation and go the long distance with somebody and completely forget who they are. Those, Those are the folks that, that I tell you, the men that do that too. Um, I was watching that show, uh, Love Love Fire mm -hmm. Country. Yeah. My, my favorite, favorite episode is when, when, uh, when, when the, uh, the wife who lost her husband, her husband mm -hmm. had to redefine herself. Mm -hmm. that, that was my favorite episode. episode. That episode. Yeah. yeah. You know, and, and I and I'm, I'm a, a I'm a whole whole man. <laughs> and, and learned a valuable lesson. Yeah. And, and not only sticking with the the, the mission, but also, also making sure that if you don't take away other people's options and choices by doing what you need to do for you. Yeah. Love doesn't remove people's options and choices. It's open, it's honest, and you put it all on the table mm -hmm. and it gives room for that other person to be able to say yeah, hey, and they any other being otherwise. But, but you, you shouldn't, shouldn't get lost, lost in love to where you can get who you are. Love, love is supposed to help you define who you are. It's supposed to grow big. Not, it don't, it don't break you down. down. Like, like how you said everything broke down, you're, you're able to admit or have some accountability as far as like your, your decision, decision making it. Right. The, the same, same with me. Like, like I, 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 I fall in love with what I do more than I have with people. That's, that's what's gotten me where I am. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's easy, easy to fall in love with an idea. Yeah. It is way, way harder to actually fall in love with the person in front of you and, and accepting them for exactly who they are. Yeah. That's true. Way, way harder, in, in my right. opinion. Yeah. No, you're right. And, and, and a lot of it, all <laughs> of what it boils down to is expectation. Releasing Correct. expectation. Correct. I agree. And, and you can't expect... You cannot expect anyone to respond or react the way that you feel that they should or the way that you think that you would. You know, you can't expect it. And I think if we release expectation, um, then that allows us to, to be free. You know, be free of, of that box that we, we put ourselves in. You know, like love is not supposed to be this hard and terrible thing. It's supposed to be yeah. free flowing. It's supposed to be, you know, you're supposed, but it's supposed to challenge you, you know, 
but it's not supposed to be something that's so hard that you're, you know, you you going to bed with a headache every night and you're like, golly, just looking at the yeah, person that's that's at like, damn. I'm, I'm going to tell you, so, so I, know I know this is a little different, but with, with my daughters, mm-hmm. I've, I've always said, said I, I, didn't I didn't raise my daughters, my daughters, my daughters raised me. Mm. And, and the reason I say that is because they, 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 they Un, without forcing me, they made me become the type of man that I didn't know I could become. And, and I and I and because of them, I realized every time they go a year older, I realize that I have a year of maturity. Period. And that never stops. So you have that kind of love, and you have the kind of love where you look at somebody that you're in love with, and you go. You are as he is that I am for me. It's it's not about you're you're a wife. You're such such a wife. Right. You're such a husband. What the hell is that? You know, the the person that you're calling on should you get boxed in on. Yeah. They are who they are. They are what they are. You know, they're they're they're, they're unhinged, unshackled. Everything about their love is uncontrollable and unfiltered. And it fits you. And it works. And it and it confuses you sometimes. It kind of scares the shit out of you a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> but it's something so beautiful about it. You can't run from it. Right. When you when you get that, it's yeah, <laughs> yeah. Listen, man. Listen, we. I know we could talk forever, forever, and we are going to talk again. But I really want people to. So ultimately, like when people get journey to love, right? And y'all make sure y'all go make. And I want you to tell people how they can get it and all that. Um, so make sure y'all go purchase Journey to Love, all right? Uh, 40 letters of, or 40 letters of love, or 40 letters to love, right? Yes, there we go, boom. So y'all make sure y'all get that. Um, ultimately, when people read this book, what is it that you want, That what is it that you're trying to convey or that you are conveying and that you want people to get from it? That, that love is beautiful. At any level. Don't Don't try try to control control it. Just flow flow with it. It It don't always mean it's going to work in your favor. But But you you can't be afraid to let let it have its place and let it take its course. You know what I mean? Everything in there, I was writing to a woman who I made the embodiment of love. Everything about my experience with her was from here. Mm-hmm. When you read it, understand that love isn't just a faded idea, it's real. You, you can be in love right. and you can get lost in that and not get so caught up in the facade of, you know, they have to own this and give you this. And, uh, come on. You know, I know people that's madly in love and they go work full time jobs and come home to see them for a day because they rub each other people reading books. Everybody's idea of being in love and having a long lasting love doesn't involve uh, the bag. Right. You know, as much as it does, it's being true with like humans and, and respecting each other without time. You know, and, and doing, doing all the little things that you know other person in the world like nothing else. Right. And, and that's, that's what the book is about. It's, it's about, about unfiltered, unadulterated to love. Yeah. And, and don't don't put any chains or resistance on it. Just love. Just and love. if you fall yeah. in love, let that go. Yeah. Let it go. Just love. Don't, don't know how long it's going to last. Right. Just love. So how can people get in contact with you? How can they get the book and all that good stuff? So, so um, my website is eastpawsnow.com. That's E-A-S-T-P-A-W-S-N-O-W.com. Um, 
My, my book is available on there, or they can go directly to Amazon. Um, that's, that's where I exclusively sell it through Amazon.com. Um, they can get it for Kindle or paperback. Um, you just type in my name, Book of Snow, Journey to Love, and it should pop right up. Or you can go to my website, thelinianefallsnow.com, and it's right there on the first page. Um, also, you can contact me through uh, my manager, Donna Mitchell, at demusicmanagement at gmail.com. Well, as always, and then all my social media and I'm on Facebook to put your snow and then everything else you just want snow. I'm, I'm so, so findable. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. And I tell you, I'm like from the first time that we met, you know, like I'm listen, I'm coming to visit. We going we gonna meet up at some point in person. We're gonna make it happen. Indeed. So I wanna Indeed. make sure that you know that you know again, I love you. I appreciate oh, you. I love you too, sister. Thank you for, for everything that you do. Thank you for everything that you continue to do. Uh, and please tell Jessica I said hey. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, for sure. So thank you, sir. I love you. And we'll definitely be in touch, all right? Yes, yes ma'am. ma'am. All right. So, all right, y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in once again to the Random Thoughts of Rain podcast, the live edition. Make sure you support uh, Booker Snow. Make sure you go get that book, Journey to Love. Make sure you uh, subscribe to his YouTube channel. He had he does have some have some visuals um, that go along with the book. So make sure y'all follow, support, like, share, all that good stuff, and let's support this brother in his first book. All right, April thirteenth, one hundred uh, episodes of Random Thoughts of Rain. Shouts out to the whole NPN network. I couldn't have done it without y'all. So I love y'all. Peace.